Hello everyone. In this episode of Life in Liquid, we are going to discuss the five most deadliest electrical sea creatures on the planet. But before we get started, if you like this video, make sure that you like and hit that subscribe and notification button. It's a small step for you, but it means a lot to us. Thank you. Now for this electrifying episode of Life in Liquid. Number 5, Torpedo Ray. The Torpedo Ray is a species of electric ray found in the Mediterranean Sea, along the Atlantic coast of Europe, and in the Indo-Pacific region. It can produce an electric current of up to 220 volts, which it uses for defense and to stun its prey. It is a bottom-dwelling species that feeds mainly on crustaceans, fish, and mollusks, Number 4, the electric catfish, is a species of fish found in the Nile, Congo, and other African rivers. It can grow up to 3 feet long and can generate an electric shock of up to 350 volts. The electric catfish uses its electric shock to stun its prey and to defend itself from predators. The electric catfish has a unique long snout which it uses to detect prey as well as a lateral line also called lateralis system, a system of tactile sense organs that serves to detect movements and pressure changes in the surrounding water. Number 3, the electric stingray, also known as the electric ray or numbfish, has organs called ampullae of Lorenzini which allow it to detect the electric fields of other organisms. Primarily in tropical and subtropical regions around the world, it is most commonly found in the Indo-Pacific region, including the Red Sea, Gulf of Oman, and the Persian Gulf. They prefer warm, shallow waters and can often be seen in coastal lagoons, reef flats, and mangrove creeks. The electric stingray is able to produce a powerful electric charge of up to 200 volts for protection and for catching prey. The electric stingray has a flat, diamond-shaped body and can grow up to 90 centimeters. 35 inches in length number four electric barracuda the electric barracuda torpedo marmorata is a species of electric ray found in the mediterranean and eastern atlantic ocean it is the largest species of electric ray growing up to two meters in length and weighing up to 95 kilograms its electric organs can produce a shock of up to 220 volts which it uses to stun its prey it feeds primarily on fish, but has also been known to eat squid and crustaceans. And number 5, the electric eel is a South American fish that can generate electric shock strong enough to kill small animals and even stun humans. There are three species of electric eels, Electrophorus electricus, Electrophorus berii, and Electrophorus volti. Electric eels inhabit murky, slow-moving rivers and streams in the Amazon and Orinoco River basins in South America. They prefer to live in shallow, murky water. Electric eels feed on small fish, crustaceans, and insects. They use their electric shock to immobilize prey before consuming it. Electric eel shocks can be deadly for humans, and there have been several reported cases of people being killed by electric eel shocks. Electric eels can generate up to 600 volts of electricity, which is enough to power a light bulb or even a small appliance. Bonus fact, generally we focus on aquatic animals, but since we're talking about electrical creatures, we thought this would be appropriate. Let us introduce you to the incredible solar-powered Oriental's Hornet. This insect is able to generate electricity from sunlight, making it the first animal in the world to do so. It's a testament to the incredible adaptability of animals and how they can use their environment to their advantage. This discovery could potentially open up new avenues of research into renewable energy sources and the use of solar cells in the animal kingdom. That's all for this episode of Life in Liquid. Please do us a big favor and comment on this video, it'll mean a lot to us. Thank you for watching, see you next time.